Hey guys, welcome to Master Programming Tips and Traps MFC Programming Series. In this video, let's talk about how to create menu in MFC and attach to the frame window via C frame in create function. Menus in MFC can be created in different ways. One is during design time, we can create the menu or uh, during runtime, we can create the menu dynamically. In this video, let's talk about how to create menus during runtime in MFC and attach the menu to the frame window. So let's get started. To create a menu in MFC, right click on the project, add resource. In the add resource dialog box, click on menu, then new. Then type the menu items, file, edit, view, options. So under file, I need to have menu sub item. I'm doing that new. Open and close. Cut. Copy. Paste. Zoom. Once we create the menu items, we can close this uh, resource editor. Click on close button. So menu is a resource in MFC. Whenever we create resources in MFC, it will create one RC file, which will be under resource files folder. Then MFC will create what header file called resource. In resource.h header file, we will be having IDs for the menu items, what we have created just now. So if you double click on this resource.h file, you can see the IDs for the menu items. My ID for the menu is IDR menu one, and uh, menu sub item ID is like ID file new, ID file open, ID file close, ID edit cut, copy paste, and view zoom. So menu IDs will be in integer. So my main menu ID is 101, and the sub menu items menu ID is like 4001, 4002, 4003, like this. So menu items or resource ID will be in integer. Now we have created one menu and we need to attach this menu to the frame window. So let's see how to attach a menu to the frame window via C frame in create function. So the third parameter for create is style of the window. WS underscore over lab the window. The next parameter is size of the window. So I'm going with the default size. So I'm specifying here, rec default, which is the default size for the window. It is a constant. The next parameter is C wind uh, parent window. So whether my window is a parent window or child to other windows. If my window is parent window, then I need to pass here null. The next parameter is menu name. So if you see here, the menu name parameter is string value. But uh, when we created a menu, the menu ID is an in integer. So we need to do a 
type cast here. So we need to type cast a string value to n. Sorry, we need to type cast an integer value to n string value. So how can we do that is by using a macro called make int resource. You can give the your menu ID there, IDR underscore menu. One is my menu ID. So this is the menu ID. The next parameter is extended style for windows. So I'm not going to specify any extended style, so I can pass null here. And the last parameter is context for the windows. So I'm not going to specify anything, so I can pass null here. So this is one way to attach a menu to the frame window. So here it is showing like IDR menu one is undefined. So where this ID is stored when we create a menu via resource for detail. So this ID is stored in the header file called resource.hatch. So we need to include the header file resource.hatch in our program. include re resource dot hatch so now that error has gone so i am building the solution and i build a successful and running the solution so we have created one menu file, edit, view and options and we have attached that menu to the frame window via create function. So if you click on file, so new open close, edit, cut, copy, paste, zoom. But these menu items are inactive, right? So because we haven't added any code for the menu items, what should happen when I click on new? What should happen when I click on open? like that. So I am closing this uh, frame window. Whenever I click on a menu item, Windows will send wm underscore command to my application. And the equivalent message map macro in MFC is on command on underscore command so I, I will just type please wait for some time so as said before, whenever I click on menus, wm underscore will send wm underscore command to my application and the equivalent message map macro in MFC for wm underscore command is on command. Now, I need to create handler for menu items. So void file. I will just display a message box for this example when I click on menu items. File new. Just copy paste it. 
file new file open and file close so inside this menu item i will write one message box kfx message box null file new menu item file open menu item file close menu item so now we have created an handler for menu items now we need to map this handler to the ids for the menus so in resource.h we have ids for the menu item what i do is i copy these ids and paste it here and the equivalent handler function for these IDs is file new when I click on new menu item it should display a message box file new menu item Come on. file close Come file open so now we have mapped our uh, handler functions with the IDs for the menu I am building the project. My build is successful and starting the application. So when I click on new, it displays file new menu item. When I click on open, so file open menu item and close file close menu item. So like this, you can create menus in MFC. Since we don't have Handless for this edit menu, it is now deactivated. So this is a simple example how to create a menu via resource editor and attach it to the frame window. So is there any other way to load a menu in MFC apart from this C frame wind create? Yes. So we can Create a menu via resource editor. Instead of attaching a menu via C frame in the create, we can load the menu via C menu functions. In MFC, whenever we create a menu, that menu is associated with a associated with a class called C menu. So in the next video series, we can see how to attach a menu to the frame 
to the frame window via C menu functions. Hey guys, if you have any doubts, please write your questions in the comment section. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.